Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect Google Bard to the internet. So you can use Google Bard to summarize web pages, explain concepts found on a web page, scrape websites, and so on and so forth. So one of the benefits of using Google Bard versus ChatGPT is that browsing and connecting to the internet is a built-in feature inside Google Bard. So unlike ChatGPT, where you have to use plugins to be able to browse the internet, and you have to be a ChatGPT Plus subscriber to be able to use the browsing plugins or other plugins that connect to the internet, you can use this in Google Bard for absolutely free. And it's really easy to do. So all you have to do is open up Google Bard and you don't have to use any kind of uh, tool or feature. This is built in into Google Bard. So all you have to do is use natural language and uh, Google Bard will be able to connect to the internet. So let's say we want to read this article. So let's say we don't have time to read this article about three new ways generative AI can help you with a search and we want Google Bard to summarize at this web page. Then all you have to do is basically add, add the following Google Bard prompt. So as you can see, I have added a very simple prompt, summarize this web page for me and explain to me why this article is important. And I have added the URL of this article, then click on submit. And now Google Bard will go to this web page. It will scrape the content on this page and then summarize this web page for us. So as Google Bard says here, this article is on the Google blog, discusses how generative AI is being used to improve the Google search experience. And you can use it to get up to speed on new or complicated topic. You can uncover quick tips for specific questions and you can discover a range of products and things to consider while shopping. And it also explains why this article is important. So as you can see, it's really easy to connect uh, Google Bard to the internet. It's way easier than in ChatGPT. And you don't have to use any kind of function. You can just use natural language to open any links and get the content of that web page very easily. So all in all, this is how to connect Google Bard to the internet. If you want to learn more about Google Bard, ChatGPT or ChatGPT plugins, I have hundreds of YouTube tutorials on my YouTube channel that you can check out. And there are hundreds of more coming up related to AI, ChatGPT and Google Bard. So make sure to subscribe and see you next time.